Hello, I'm Laura Dana and today I'll go through a tutorial of the main features of Pipeline. Pipeline is a visual ID for composing smart contracts and dApps built by me and it is available as a plugin inside the Remix IDE. This is the Remix IDE developed by the Ethereum Foundation. It works directly in your browser so you don't have to install anything. You can find the link to it in the description. If we go and see the available plugins, we will find Pipeline and we can activate it. We will also activate the native plugins for compiling Solidity smart contracts and deploying and running transactions. For this tutorial, we will choose the JavaScript VM environment. When active, Pipeline uses Remix APIs in the background to listen for network changes, compilation events and transactions. This is why the first time you use it, Remix will ask you to accept this. Choose yes if you agree. If you deactivate Pipeline, it will no longer have access to this data. Here you can find links to our source code on GitHub, video demos on YouTube and our Gitter chat if you have issues, questions or feedback. You will also find video demo tutorials right here. Know that Pipeline is work in progress and not yet suited for production. We have two navigation buttons in the top corner, so let's go to the next step. This is our contracts browser. Contracts are loaded based on the testnet you are on. If you are using the JavaScript VM, you will see all of them. After we find what contracts we want to work with, we can click on them and load them in the workspace on the right. We can expand the contract to see its functions and hover over them for the NotSpec documentation if they have one. If you want to take a look at a contract source code, you can load it in Remix with a click. Now you can see it here, but some contracts have dependencies, so you can load all of them. With Pipeline, you can use your own contracts from Remix, so if you have them compiled and deployed, you can import them. Pipeline listens for the compilation event, so all you need to do is choose the contract you want to load and provide the deployment address. And they will be loaded in the workspace. You can also import ESPM packages into Pipeline, but this is presented in another video demo. We can remove other contracts that we added earlier, and we can go to the next step, creating the Pipeline graph. Pipeline allows you to connect existing services from already deployed smart contracts to HTTP APIs and create your own smart contracts and dApps. For this tutorial, we will only use smart contracts, Check out our other videos for more specific tutorials. We will choose the functions that we want to use. And note that payable functions are in blue, non-constant functions in red, and events in green. We can go to the next step, where we can see the live preview of our source code, Solidity and JavaScript. We then connect the outputs of functions to the inputs of other functions where the type matches. For example, we can connect the vendor output from the getVendor function to all the other vendor inputs. Notice that all the inputs that match the address type of the vendor output will turn green. We then connect the quantity output from the calculate quantity function 
to the quantity input in the by function. Then we have this product ID argument that is repeated in various inputs. We want this to be the same variable for all, so we choose one of the inputs and link it everywhere else. Now we also have this wave value, which is the amount that the buyer will need to pay for the product. It should be the same value for both functions. Now we have linked everything and the graph flow is, we want to automatically buy a product from the marketplace contract. So our new contract will choose a vendor based on the vendor registration criteria and product ID. Then the contract will calculate the quantity of the product based on how much ether we send using the vendor prices contract. Then it will buy the product for us from the marketplace contract. We can run this code directly in JavaScript in the browser, or we can use the smart contract that has been created. We load the contract to Remix, and we can get the deployment arguments from here. We compile it and deploy it. Let's see if our piped buy transaction works. But before making the transaction, we can check the total amount of the product with ID 1. and we have a quantity of 1,000. We'll buy product one for 1,000 way, and this is our buyer address. We make the transaction, and if we look at it, we'll see that it has a logged event, which is the marketplace buy log. And if we look at the quantity again, we'll see it has decreased. So the buy was successful. Thank you for watching. Have fun playing with Pipeline and make sure you follow us on Gitter or YouTube to find out about new or upcoming features.